Okay, um, let's see. I wanted to do another blog thingy, like for a week now. A couple of uh, ideas in my mind. Like, uh, first thing. <clears throat> just, just give me a second. I'm late to bed right now. <laughs> Oof. Uh, I was reading like uh, George Floyd, uh, cause of death and whatnot, and uh, yeah, the problem is like when you are on f certain sites, like uh, let's say for example, uh, 4chan. Uh, there's like a lot of racism going around and it's part of the instant joke momentum and whatnot and uh, you know a lot of people made like fun of him and posted memes and whatnot all uh, uh, somewhat cruel you know but it's part of the edginess and of the, uh, and of the movement itself <laughs> fucking headphones and uh yeah this is more like a, a solo podcast a poor man's podcast so to say with no special guests you know and uh what was i getting at yeah um cause of death and whatnot and uh, second and third degree murder uh, because for uh, Derek Chauvin, I don't know how to pronounce his name, and uh, yeah, interestingly, what uh, neither the media told anywhere, nor any of the the media, very far left leaning, and uh, Fortune very far right leaning. I don't know if Fortune has a. Uh, political agenda so to say you know because the funny thing is let's suppose uh, let's suppose everyone would be far right wing and whatnot and let's suppose fortune would exist in such a world then fortune would be the very first place to be the most left and progressive out of all these sites just so uh, you know it's the momentum it's the spirit like what is trendy right now okay i'm totally against it you know and uh yeah thing what the far left media kind of left out and the uh, far right uh, fortune uh, social platform so to say uh, left out is like derek chauvin was also off-duty uh, bouncer for a security club, also as George Floyd. Interestingly, you know, in this kind of, uh, if you do this sort of uh, connection, and I don't know if these two know knew of each other or not, and uh, this kind of adds a certain momentum to, you know, Derek Chauvin killing George Floyd because this makes it sort of like purposefully a hate crime, so to say. Maybe. And uh, yeah, like uh, <clears throat> this was a pretty unnecessary death. And the uh, interesting thing is like. Uh, the death was unnecessary. He had quite a criminal past, you know, but he was also recovering from a lot of shit, which is a good thing. He also made some rap albums, I didn't know this, and uh, was doing social media stuff like kids, violence is bad, blah blah blah. And uh, Got a driver's license for drug driving and even somewhat uh, rehabilitated from Corona. I also didn't know that this was happening at the time. And uh, yeah, the interesting thing about this is like uh, 
the media outcry or generally the people outcry like uh, uh, I'm I think like uh, the family got like 27 million dollars of uh, you know money out of the lawsuit because uh, I don't know what you can't put a price tag on a human's life but uh, yeah they won't die uh, poor that's for sure a lot of uh, campaigns like raised through the roof enough money for the families which is at least a good thing out of all this misery but still what is interesting is the reaction of the people you know like uh, burning down stores and protesting and destroying shit and whatnot this wasn't handled very well and especially for me it would be interesting the thing is you have to read sort of between the lines and especially in such a case what happened after this because I think like this did like a hard u-turn in the um, police system so to say like I think uh, a lot of cops are now like oh shit man this is like a black guy so we can't like uh, prosecute him normally on one hand on the other hand there are still racist cops and on the next hand there are like the people like looting and destroying and setting places on fire and whatnot and uh, it distorts sort of the objective reality that we live in and uh, I would be kind of interested how is it looking right now are we like ah uh, police got defunded you know a lot of people out crying out cried like defund the fucking police defund the and defund the police and I wonder if uh, yeah if that is really everything that needs to be changed like I don't know how many cops are racist, 5%, 25%, 50%, 75%. But yeah, uh, let's say you defund the police, you know. This is like, I think it doesn't matter how many people you like uh, fire from the jobs, especially police people and whatnot, and police stations. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's 1 million cops or 10 cops the I think the ratio will be still you know like the same <laughs> so there is that uh, okay nice so now we have only one racist cop out of 10 instead of uh, 10,000 racist cops out of uh, I don't know what is it 100,000 yeah so um will this ever fix anything and uh, is still like uh, uh, a fair prosecution for everyone generally speaking like uh, America is like really interesting when it comes to <laughs> this racial stuff because like uh, fuck man at some point you guys gotta get over it you gotta get over with it you know and one part of this is like these extremely left people like uh, fetishizing uh, cuckold and whatnot, BBC <laughs> cuckold stuff. And on the other hand, you have like, yeah, we should kill all these people. <laughs> this is like also, I love these both extremes. Like there is no middle ground. There is no place for a uh, objective middle ground you know <laughs> and uh, yeah that would be sort of interesting and I think uh, I think I think a certain part of this also comes from uh, the fact that um, yeah we're still like uh, the n-word because this is a YouTube video YouTube video I'm uploading here or I will be uploading um, because I'm a pussy when it comes to like hardcore confrontation with uh, social media and video platforms and whatnot I won't pronounce the n-word in its fullest 
but I think it's part of the problem. Like the only way to heal the soul apart, uh, race, diversity, whatever, far left and far right. I think a part of the problem is exactly because of the N word, you know? And in order to solve this fucking issue, which will never ever be solved, because if we solve this problem, I think we're uh, at a time where we live in such luxurious uh, lifestyle, moving changes, whatnot, you know, we have such a quality of life, we've reached such a quality of life point that we we just uh, we don't want to solve every problem because then we get bored no we stopped at a certain progression level and from there on we said we have to keep a certain amount of problems otherwise we will get bored and this is where the n word falls into this category by finally like sort of uh, quitting racism and whatnot I think a lot of people would get bored, so we have to create this uh, a faux conflict, this this non-existent real conflict. But if we ever wanted to solve this conflict, we definitely should start with uh, slurs, slurs, racial slurs in any sort of form. You know, I got called a Nazi a lot, and like a shitty crowd. I'm a fucking racist because I'm white, even though I'm not completely white, even though uh, I have like uh, outlandish uh, roots and backgrounds from other families stemming from Europe and whatnot. And uh, like most of the theories like suggest that all of the people came from Africa. So there is also this and that. And there is also like... Uh, yeah, but uh, people love to be racist to racist or racist to other races that they don't think uh, are uh, yeah not worthy their their own race or whatnot. I don't I don't care about this eugenics bullshit and uh, far right stuff. But uh, yeah, in order to solve this fucking conflict everyone like seriously in order to keep keep start the healing we have to do like uh, a chanting everyone has to say the n-word at least one minute a day you know like instead of like american classes so i see or heard or read they're like everyone i think like from high school to middle school or whatnot and this is like i pledge allegiance to the american flag and whatnot Cut this bullshit, man, you know? Uh, in Germany, we also had, like, certain... Uh, I think, like, my very first junior school years, you know? I also We also had, like, uh, this religion bullshit, like... Uh, uh, Dear Father, hallowed be thy name and whatnot, you know? Uh, you have to cut this religion crap. And you have to go exactly to the other direction. Everyone should say at least like 30 seconds or one minute. Everyone, like literally everyone should say the N-word. Like a, like a chant, like a mantra, you know. Uh, and uh, just to normalize this word. And only when we reach a certain amount, because like these N-words, you know, they collect in us. They each all... And black people should be able to call white people the N-word. This is very important for the healing process. And white people should be able to call black people the N-word. And everyone should call everyone else the N-word. You know, doesn't matter uh, white to white, black to black. Black to black is very common since a lot of years. But uh, white to white is uncommon. I know we have like Wigger, you know, I can say Wigger without a problem. Because, uh, as far as I know, there's no real um, problem so far. Or, um, I also read, like, people from uh, certain desert areas are called, like, scent and words, you know. But seriously, <laughs> in all seriousness, we need this stuff. Uh, we need to say the N-word, like, on a constant basis to get, like, uh, 
these N words, you know, they're uh, everyone is saving them up. Like uh, sometimes, this is like when you say fuck or shit, you know, something breaks, or you get angry at something or someone, and you need to say the N word in order to release stress. And it's not just to uh, in a defamatory sense, you know, it's not just to hurt people, but it's more. In a, th a therapeutic sense, you know, you need the cursing in order to stay healthy. This is like, uh, I heard this in a German, on a German side, on an English side, I don't know. Uh, you have like these stupid ideas, you know, like uh, brain farts, you know, like uh, what would happen if I closed my eyes and just uh, walked uh, a jay walked over the street you know without looking would a car hit me and you should never ever prosecute this idea this is like the n-word execution you should never ever do this but you should sort of convert it into something helpful like uh, writing down this stupid idea you know like what would happen if you jay walked uh the street blindly you know probably a car crash probably death or coma or something like this and uh, in order to start the fucking healing like everyone should say the n-word in order to make this up what we've saved you know like saving up the n-words it's not just the n-word itself but there's also like a percentage you know this is like uh, when you invest into stonks or cryptocurrency or i don't know nfts or whatnot uh, or rare metals there's like uh, what is it called a certain profit margin and this is the same thing for the n-word the moment you st don't start using it there's like a certain profit margin of negative energy you know adding up to like uh, sometimes sooner or later you will explode you know you have to let these brain farts out and the n-word is definitely a brain fart word in this category and uh, yeah we should definitely make up for all this time lost in regards to that and only then uh, the healing will begin then uh, yeah well 70 minutes for just this one topic <laughs> kind of got out of hand then the next thing is like uh, what was on my mind like last week like I'm staying at a hotel right here and um, a lot of U Ukrainian re refugees also came to this hotel since it's also a refugee camp sort of you know and this is a good thing like uh, political refugees well, I don't see really a problem with that as long as uh, <laughs> there is no terroristic uh, refugees or whatnot this sounds already racist even though i don't want to sound a racist you know but most of the refugees are logically uh not bad you know uh, they have different culture or whatnot or different lifestyles different language and uh, they're used to different standards but that's it at the end of the day and uh, yeah i'm like seriously i'm happy that like these ukrainian guys these ukrainian n words <laughs> so to say I'm happy that um, and words from parrots. <laughs> uh, I'm happy that they made it here, you know. And I'm happy if they can like find refuge in Switzerland, Austria, and whatnot. But uh, the thing is, since they're here, and my ISP is like very limited and shitty here. It was shitty before they arrived. Now it gets shittier. Now the simple fortune. Uh, rage bait posting post would be ah oh, these fucking refugees uh worsen my internet so uh yeah that's the end of the story that's their fault but i'm thinking to a certain extent you know like uh if putin didn't start the fucking war you know uh all of this wouldn't have happened and a lot of people are like uh chanting this sort of in a chorus like uh Putin, how about we stop this fucking war thing, huh? And stop uh, stopping with the invasion. And uh, yeah, at the end of the day, 
if you think about it logically, Putin literally made my own personal internet collection bad. And I don't give a fuck about anything. Like, uh, not anything. This sounds like such a fucking edgy statement. But I'm happy where I am right now, you know? I could be in a worse spot, I could be in a better spot. But uh, things are pretty swell so far. But Putin said, no, fuck this Merlin guy, you know? Like, how about I'll fucking ruin his day by start a war with uh, Ukraine, 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 fuck, I got this from another friend. Ukraine, you know? How about I start a war with Ukraine? Therefore, a lot of people will seek refuge in other countries, like, let's say, Germany. And by that, they will uh, be stationed somewhere where Merlin lives. So this motherfucker, like, literally worsened my opinion of him. Uh, I mean, there are nice memes of him where he's riding a bear and whatnot, you know, and acting like a Giga Chat and Alpha... Uh, alpha. I also saw like uh, you also made uh, for other things you made like good points here and there, but the fact that he's like uh, for over fifteen years I don't know twenty years how long has it been since he's like uh, president chancellor uh, of uh, Russia this is like a dictatorship badly disguised as a democracy and it's like bothering you know gives you stuff to think and it's not just that it's just like yeah why did this guy you know like fuck man i was sort of neutral to all of this because it didn't like really touch me you know but uh, this has momentum you know this is like literally uh, worsening my life quality because of fucking Putin, I have worse internet. That is the first thing. Then there's like, oh fuck. Then there's like uh, the next thing, which is very funny and ironic. You know, this is literally the definition of irony. Um, there's like a government program where you can like uh, take refugees into your home. You get sort of uh, paid or whatnot. So. Uh, you get the social com component and you get the financial component, monetary component. So that is never wrong. So I sort of applied for this program. And the funny thing is, in order to apply, you need to scan your uh, personal ID, you know. And uh, you need to send a photo and upload it. And the uh, upload connection, I'm not shitting you. Like uh, most of the times when uh, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 6 p.m. It's like literally I have like point eight five megabytes per second download and point two five twenty five megabytes per second upload. So uh, on one hand we have Germany with its bad internet uh, infrastructure promising every year we will improve we will improve you can't believe these fuckers one single word on the second hand we have my poor choice of an ISP I chose O2 because they're cheaper and I'm a cheapskate but I'm you know this is like also influencing this whole general thing then the next thing is the location I'm living in is also not very big and the smaller crowded cities of course have worse internet makes sense right and then the next thing is the refugees like taking up the internet okay everything fine so far I'm not against uh, speaking against these refugees but it's a fact that it's worsening my internet connection and then I want to apply in order to help out these guys you know and I'm lacking the fucking internet so they're sorta hurting themselves even though they're not aware of it you know and they're not even they they can't even do anything against this I thought like uh, <laughs> 
I thought like, what was it? Imagine I told like every Ukrainian guy at this uh, refugee home, like, guys, you need to stop your fucking internet usage so I can register for this uh, Ukrainian refugee help program. So I can help one guy of you all, you know, like 100 people or so. Then I come up there like, yo, I'll stop your fucking internet usage for a couple of minutes. <laughs> so it can help like 1% or even less of you guys helping out, you know, like beautiful, just beautiful. The fact that, fuck man, I'm getting really tired. That's the second thing. And the third thing, the third thing is like, um, I was chatting with this girl and uh, I was meeting her from, I was meeting her on uh, Interpels. It's like uh, uh, a site and a chat service with an app uh, where you can connect with people to exchange for languages or flirting or long distance uh, snail mail or whatnot or just chatting in general and I was talking with this girl allegedly she came from China and she worked in Australia I'm saying allegedly because you never know you know and uh, I was getting somewhat along with her she had a really cute voice and whatnot but she didn't like fully grasp and understand like English language like I'd say she got, she understood like 60 or 70 percent. And I told her like a lot of, not too much personal stuff, but somewhat personal stuff after one month. You know, because like you should never ever DDoS yourself. You should never dox yourself to, to a maximum. Not DDoS, I mean doxing. Uh, because this is unhealthy. A lot of people tend to dox themselves. Like, this is also part of the human experience, like manip manipulating yourself because you're feeling too good right now. You think, like, I'm king of the world, so I can tell everyone where I'm living. Uh, like, uh, Drachenlord, you know, and uh, what will they do, you know? <laughs> but uh, I think the good thing ab about me is, like, I'm just uh, too mediocre to attract any haters, I'd say. Even though if I would attract any haters, first of all, I would have, I, I would need to grow some balls because like, uh, Dachon Lord is getting like stalkers for decades now, I think, you know, and, uh, you need a thick skin for this. You should never ever forget this. But there is also the fact of no promotion is bad promotion. So this is something you should consider. Uh, even if I attracted haters, I think my <laughs> channel would ex arise and explode and go up. But that's the problem, man. I'm just too neutral about all of this, you know. I would need to start uh, shouting and getting angry, getting pissed at people, insulting them. But I just can't, man. Uh, I was never ever in this sort of momentum, maybe on drugs <laughs> in the past. But now I'm just too old and tired, as you can hear right now. So, um, what was I saying? Yeah, this girl. Uh, I got along with her. And, uh, like, we were exchanging messages on a daily basis for one and a half months. You know? And, uh, the funny thing is, like, I said her, uh, I told her, like, uh, in theory, there would be a possibility that she is a guy, you know, this is like what comes to my mind at first. First of all, because I'm also catfishing on a regular basis. And second of all, like, uh, maybe it's a money scam, maybe it's a couple, you know. One guy is writing the cutesy girl chats and asking for financial stuff, you know. The second thing would be... Um, yeah, the girl doing the voice messages, and then I said, the chances are low, you know, and I was just joking, like, this is my sort of dark sarcasm, but uh, she didn't understand, it's like, I don't know what you mean, you're attacking my personality, and I said, no, that is not what a personality is, you know, and I told her, like, I explained her two, three, four times, and then I said, fuck it, man, it's like talking to a fucking wall, you know, 
like this uh, will lead to nowhere then I, I made like one last effort and said look maybe there is some sort of translation error maybe didn't, I didn't fully convey what I was saying you know and she said like no you're like seriously insulting me uh, and I said okay goodbye it was nice talking to you and uh, holy shit man this is like amazing like uh, this sounds like generalizing but there's no other way around it like uh, all the women I've talked so far they're either not interested you know okay that's fine or they're lacking like language skills or they're not interested in lacking the language skills and uh, I'm a reasonable guy, you know. If I do some shit wrong, I'll admit that shit. But uh wow, man. At some point you got to you got to think like how do these people like manage to breathe? How do these people like manage to take one breath, breathe in, breathe out? And uh, how do they manage to sleep and eat? And drink and piss and shit and whatnot, you know. How do these people like survive a day after day after day? You know, like uh, this kind of amazes me because I'm getting along with a lot of people, but sometimes, seriously, man, why bother like chatting or talking or writing with me in English if like fifty percent of what you're saying sometimes comes out wrong sometimes you understand stuff wrong sometimes you want to be insulted or angry like it's a mode like it's a certain switch and you can't change the value of it or the variable this pisses me off like there is no real uh, human interaction like at some point you start thinking like am I talking with an animal or uh, an object this other person on the other side of the screen on the other side of the globe in Australia uh, should have somewhat rational thoughts you know but there's like nothing coming back and this still amazes me you know these people still run around doing their thing yeah and uh, wow I was also talking like uh, she all gets flirty, but I, I thought this is like, this is like high alert, uh, you know, Drachenlord marriage stuff, for example. Or well, I think uh, Chris Chan also had probably like some fake troll girls like hitting him up like, oh, Chris Chan, you're so cute, I want to marry you, you know. Might also be a possibility. And uh, yeah, that's why these uh Lord and Christian Christian they're like uh, sort of martyrs you know for the cause of knowledge because if these guys wouldn't have existed if people wouldn't have made fun of them if I wouldn't have used the internet reading about them I would have never known about this you know yeah I would have been naive and some girl without a profile pic uh, contacted me and said like oh I love you Merlin I want to marry you but first you have to give me money and then we will meet up and then after one day oh sorry something came in between like I'm in custody in the, at the airport or the embassy of my country or your country you need to transfer more money you know like uh, Roman scam baiting and whatnot and you need sort of people to get tricked you know this is the first full part of the story some people need to bleed out in order for you to see this to say this won't be happening to me you know and you will tell yourself yeah i'm not that stupid this won't happen to me i'm smart enough no you aren't you just were lucky enough to see that somebody else got ripped off and this uh gave you like uh, the advantage of knowing that you might get ripped off to be cautious every fucking millisecond of your fucking life you know Otherwise, you will fall into the same trap, I'd say, you know? And uh, so, yeah, so I always had this sort of possibility in my mind, like, 
this is like a Roman scam baiting couple trying to rip me off. And she was all flirty like, yeah, I love you and uh, hope you're well and uh, I'm your girlfriend. And stuff like, holy shit, this person doesn't really know much about me. And like, uh, I said like, uh, I, made, I made like, I gave soft clues like, uh, if you really want want to connect with me, like basic things, like uh, you could check out this song, you know, tell me what you think about it. It's that basic with me, you know, and uh, like, yeah, I will see. And this is like 100%. I fucking hate the whole humanity point, you know, like uh, I think musicians only have ears. Other people don't have ears at this point. <laughs> this is uh, like when you send somebody a song you can try it out yourself you know pick one person in your personal uh life a good friend or whatnot if it's a really really good friend a really fucking good friend and if you've known this friend for over 10 or 15 years then this friend will be able to listen to a song of yours that you sent you know either a song you made or a song that you recommend or even an album like this is the highest level of trust if a person listens to an album that you sent the person uh, I write with this n-word I will die with this n-word that's all I'm saying you know like um, I have these sort of people in high regards if you manage to listen to a song or a full album like kudos man like I can respect it you're definitely able to uh, <laughs> You're one uh, evolutionary step about other people, I'd say, because a lot of people can't do this. And it's not because, like, uh, they're malicious or they, they have, like, a malicious intent. It's just, like, uh, they're, it's programmed in the DNA to be uh, oblivious, ignorant, forgetful, deaf. This is how it feels like, you know? and uh yeah so she of course she never responded to i sent like one or two songs not very long songs you know but still no fucking response so uh if you ever want to know me <laughs> this sounds fucking uh uncool or yeah i think like you should be able to manage to listen to a three thirty or five minute songs if you can't do this like get the fuck out of here man you know this is like my minimum requirement maybe i make some enemies with this yeah but uh, i don't know that's why i stopped recommending people anything in general because like they will never ever watch it like uh, this basic thing like everyone recommends this and this have you seen this have you watched this have you heard this have you read this uh have you studied this you know have you checked out this hobby but the moment you suggest something uh-huh uh -huh, i don't care that's what you're getting always like always fucking always and i fucking hate this about people maybe this is just a germany problem but i think this is like worldwide applicable you know but yeah, blah blah blah, other cultures. Nah, man, I'm telling you, a lot of people love to, they love to give output, but they hate to receive input. And when it's input, then only selected echo chamber input, you know? I'm uh, looking for, today I'm left, because I say I'm left, so I'm uh, far left leaning, so I'm only looking for far left uh, media. And tomorrow I decide I'm a far right expert. I see myself uh, far right, you know. So I will only look at far right stuff. So when the far right says like uh, outlandish people steal our jobs and they commit most of the crimes and whatnot, then it's true because I'm an expert in this. That's the first thing. The second thing is like I'm on the good guy side, right? The opposition is the bad. We have the us versus them mentality. You know, I'm on the good guy's side. Why don't these bad guys just understand that they're on the bad side? 
you know how can you be this ignorant and then there is like <laughs> fucking american politics man you have these two parties man you have democrats and republicans <laughs> and people are like seriously you know like i wonder how much of this is like a larping you know how much of this is role playing are they real i can't i cannot uh, you know well the, the blurry lines kind of become blurrier every day yeah so um i'd say i'm at the end of this uh, hope you enjoyed my ramble and hope to hear from you sooner or later goodbye and good night